Hi and welcome to Orbit. I had the exclusive opportunity to try on the new Vanmoof S5 and A5 in Amsterdam and I even had the chance to talk with the CEO about his new bike. All of my impressions and answers to all of my questions are now here in this video. I rode the S1, S2 and S3 and there were a lot of difficulties with the S3. A lot of problems with the e-shifter and one move really wanted to address those problems with the S5 and that's why it's called S5 because there's so much new. It's not only an S3 with a faster motor or more bright lights. It's a totally re-engineered bike and it shows. The design reminds me of the S2 because there's only one color option and that's that white model you can see in this video. I really like it. It's the same color like on the S2 or quite similar and it's glossy again and not matte. The frame looks very Van Moofy and it has the classic shape but there are some key differences. For example you can see the lights from the side more clearly because of the small lines there are and the bike itself is a little bit smaller to be more agile. And the A5 is even more small and it replaces the X3 which in my opinion had a more special design but the new one is more accessible for small people. The most obvious change are the handlebars because there are two LED rings both contain 10 RGB LEDs and they show you now the speed you're going and the battery levels and they flash red when someone is trying to steal the bike. They replace the Matrix LED display they had in the past because you had to really look down to see it and now it is in your vision side. You don't need to look down and there are no exact numbers anymore. You can't see what speed you are going in a clear number but you can see it in like a feeling like the glowing ring and you can now place your smartphone in the middle of the handlebar with a new smartphone mount and it even has a USB-C port to charge it. What I didn't like is that you need a special smartphone case to use that smartphone mount. I don't know man, it's really stupid when you have to have a custom case and it's not for every smartphone. They should have made just a universal mount. My favorite new feature is the torque sensor because it can see how much power you're putting in and then it enhances that power with the motor. Because of that it's more adaptive and more organic to ride the bike like it was in the past on the cowboy bikes. I really like that and now it is on the Van Move as well and it even helps the range and the batteries are a little bit smaller so you have about the same range. And the battery is in three parts now. It's easier to replace and there is a place for a new click-on battery which is higher capacity than in the past because the battery is still integrated in the design and some folks don't have like an elevator so they can use the click-on battery and it's now easier and prettier. Some of you may realize that the brakes have holes now in the past they did not. It is because of dirt and heat and a new compound they are using. The bike is really, really smart. It has an air sensor which can read the CO2 in the air and then recommend you another route you have to take to have better air and it has a new kick lock system. In the past you could unlock the bike and then you had to move it to push out the pin and now it moves out automatically. Even though I like the new design and everything feels really sturdy, the welds are more noticeable. I don't like it quite as much than on the S3, but it's better for the environment when move set because apparently the small metal parts they are flying away, they are bad for the environment. I don't know. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. The S5 still has Apple Find My and now weighs two kilograms more. They are still using a front motor, but it's more powerful this time around. It has 86 newton meters of torque. That's quite a lot and I had a blast riding it. The CEO said he prefers front motors because you have all-wheel drive and it is less slippery when the ground is wet than a rear motor and the middle motor brings a lot of stress on the chain and everything. And speaking of which, there is a new e-shifter. It is bigger now and there are only three levels, not four. And the second one is missing, so 
you don't really feel it and it is more sturdy. The one move S5 and A5 are more expensive, 300 euros to be exact, they are at 2500 euros. Um, all of that money goes into better parts, I guess. There are more features. It is the smartest electric bike I've ever seen. There are so many features in it. It is beautiful. I love my one move and I think I will like that new one too. There will be a review on this channel. So if you'd like to see it, please consider subscribing. That's it from me. I hope you liked it and see you in the next one. Bye.